Today we're going to show you the Hydemec S23A bandsaw. This bandsaw has a capacity of 18 inches wide by 16 inches tall at a 90 degree angle. The saw also has the ability to swing to a 45 degree angle. The saw keeps its rigidity of squareness of cut, the rigidity and squareness of cut using carbide blade guides on the front and back of the blade and also on the top. We have cast iron guide arms that also helps with that rigidity. Over here on our guide wheels that our blade rides around, these are also cast iron and they have incorporated into them a precision bearing. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a couple other features that are real important to this saw. This is a, a hydraulic band saw. It uses no pneumatics at all, so everything is hydraulic. What they have here is a feed force, and what happens is when you're sawing a piece of material, hydraulic pressure is pushing the blade down, giving you a nice, smooth cut throughout the motion of the saw, throughout the cut. A lot of other bandsaws use gravity to bring the head down, but that causes bouncing of the blade in your cut as, you're, as you reach different hardnesses of your material. What we do is we have a hydraulic down feed that consistently forces the blade down as, as you're making your cut. The S23A comes standard with the sequencer, an E100 sequencer. The way that this sequencer is programmed for your uh, cuts is you press auto and then the first thing it's going to ask you is the length of cut that you want. We want one inch, so we're going to press one, put a dot, and one inch, and then we're going to press the enter key. It asks you how many parts are you requiring, and in this case we'll require two cuts, and it's asking you how many cuts are already made, so it already re it remembers the amount of cuts that you made if you had a large quantity and you broke for lunch, it'll remember how many of the cuts you've already made. Once that information is in, then you would press cycle start. The machine comes up and asks you to start the blade for a trim cut. Normally, if your bar or part that you're gonna be cutting is unsquare, it makes a square cut to start off with to make sure all your parts are accurate. The accuracy on this machine is plus or minus five thousandths per shuttle, and the shuttle length is 29 inches. If you had a part over 29 inches that you wanted to shuttle, all you do is have to put the desired length in, and the machine will automatically calculate how many shuttles it needs to perform. You see the shuttle moving relatively slow. That's because it's within the one inch cushion that we have programmed in the saw to allow accurate part accuracy. If you are cutting longer lengths, then the saw will actually go slow for the first inch and then go fast, rapid back to the desired length and then come forward fast until it gets within that one inch window. Once the saw cuts the desired amount that you put in, it'll come down, make its final cut, and then shut the saw off. As you can see, if you put a large bar in the shuttle and you needed, you know, 30 pieces, the operator could just let the saw run while he could be doing a secondary operation as, as needed. What we're gonna show you right now is, uh, I don't have any material in there, but we're gonna demonstrate the speed of the shuttle as I talked about earlier. Um, the speed of the shuttle goes slow within an inch from its target, but you'll see the rapidness of the shuttle as it goes back and gets longer lengths.
Again, the shuttle has a 29 inch travel. I just programmed 15 inches in there. You saw how it went back quickly, then slowed down when it got to an inch from its target. It's clamped and it's ready to advance the material forward once the cut's made, the trim cut's made. Now it's gonna come in and advance the material and it'll slow down an inch before it gets to its destination. For accuracy of, you know, for part accuracy, plus or minus 5,000. Once the front vise has the part firmly clamped, the rear vise will go back and grab for the next shuttle. We thought we'd show you the cuts as they came off the saw. Um, Heidmech, again, the shuttle accuracy is plus or minus five thousandths. Uh, it's also got an accuracy of plus or minus two thousandths per linear inch, horizontally and vertically for the plane of the cut.